research in economics and another I, is I uh, think you can make eight, eight a minute, eight minute. Just, a, just a minute I am just suggesting you I think you can make a list of the different stakeholders and we can simultaneously start process for each one of them when we will be talking to the farmers we will talk in their language when we will be talking to the banker we banker we will talk in their language when we will be talking to the charter accountant we will talk in their language when we will be talking to the lawyers we will talk in their language when we will be talking to the economist we will talk in their language and when we will be talking the ngos we will be talking in their language is it making some sense to you even we can have discussion with the politicians especially with mr tejaswini i will be very happy to have a discussion with mr nitin gadkari because i treat him as a man of, man of a great vision and i really wish his vision should uh, come through and we will be more than happy that crime free bharat may also help him to realize his dream mr haris Mr. Hari, yes, so have you? Uh, are you noting it down, or this clip will be shared immediately on uh, Telegram uh, in the main group? So I will appreciate if you can share with your other friends, and if you can really schedule some kind of the activity in the different town, different city, where where you are having the linkages. Do you want to give your reflection on it before we close this discussion? Hello. Uh, nothing, sir. I'll think about it. Okay. I think uh, you can make a framework. You can uh, so that we can have more pointed, constructive discourse and discussion with each group separately because the concerns and the queries. would be different by the each group right so i will request you to make a list of the different stakeholders if you could share this uh, discussion with them and requesting them to really organize something and if we can make a calendar and if we could really work on that it will be great benefit benefit to the whole country and i feel that you are one of the most johana uh, for a better person because you are connected with n number of the industries n number of the organizations n number of the firms you are having n number of your student so even if we focus on your trail your trail is connected with uh, everybody so can we make use of your uh, influence area wherever it is existing hello hello i feel now we can conclude this session and now you can prepare a uh, kind of a note about our discussion followed by the action plan so that the next session we can start having or you can even have a calendars or create so that we can create a schedule and if that schedule could be shared so whenever i am giving time to anybody else i will i will take care that uh, your schedule should uh, not be compromised i should always be available as per your schedule to uh, you and whenever possible i may make a face to face you an availability i can visit the those location wherever it is uh, possible 
and our focus of taking oath our focus on taking pledge and trying to achieve it within 9 days will be having the dual advantage it will be having the political advantage to the honorable prime minister probably that we will be in position to help him out to capture 543 seats in which everybody would be interested the people from every state including the political groups they are most welcome to join they can continue their political identity their political perception their political ideology at the same time i am very sure they would like to create a bharat with the 21 objective realized within 5 years on the ground probably we will be in position to free our country from the cancer and autoimmune diseases also probably india's medical infrastructure would be more available for the neighboring country because probably we may not require it or these hospital system will become a center for increasing your longevity probably treating disease may not be the requirement anymore with this uh, i would like to conclude uh, at least this session account now the bank uh, will create a liability to create a liability let no no no, no 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 that liability will be created against the cost settling account of the whosoever is using it you say for the farmers the liability would be settled through the earning the difference between 3 msp and 1 msp so farmers those who are at the moment being forced to pay 6 times 7 times of the msp they will be saved and they everybody will not be paying more than 3 times right and the liability is not in a isolation the liability is being created on account of the asset we are creating so whether we are digging trench whether we are doing the perforated tile styling whether we are creating uh, stop dams all these is asset creation and the asset so being created will be generating the resources from the time you come uh, done that expenditure so the one leg which is completed that will start getting the aquaculture aqua plants fishes etc it will be generating the resources so everything so the moment you are putting a cow shed and cows over there it will be getting uh, uh, money from jiva amrit ghan amrit microbes earthworm from uh, milk also so and not only by the milk there will be uh, decoration and uh, worship of the uh, cow and even there will be small charge on the worshiping of the cow also so these sum will be created and that will go to the cost settling account so cost settling account is getting money to msp which is being uh, which is going to the uh, consumer end from the coming from the consumer end and it will be distributed to the different uh, service providers whether it is a quality uh, service provider or packaging or uh, loading unloading or uh, transportation or beer housing or wholesaler or retailer or even the home delivery boy after they are being paid for their services and they will be paid from the services from the cost settling of account of the uh, farmer and this cost settling will continue for few years and the people will be made the payment in a bharat vikas nidhi so bharat vikas nidhi will be created equivalent to the capital we are creating right and the people will be paid in the bharat vikas nidhi bharat vikas nidhi 
is uh, you, they can make the payment through the Bharat Vikas Nidhi for any commodity they want to purchase and uh, one Bharat Vikas Nidhi will be equivalent to 1.1 rupee. It means by purchasing through the Bharat Vikas Nidhi, they are getting the uh, discount of the 10%. Rather, the people, those who are not having the Bharat Vikas Nidhi, they can purchase by paying from the rupee, by paying 2% service charge, they can even purchase the Bharat Vikas Nidhi and by using the Bharat Vikas Nidhi, that will be equivalent to 1.1 rupee. Hence, then whosoever will be purchasing who is not having the Bharat Vikas Nidhi directly will get the advantage of the 8%. Now, now you, at the click of button, you can make purchases through the Bharat Vikas Nidhi and at the back end, the payment will be made in rupee, right? Now you are having surplus uh, things. That surplus, even the surplus amount can be converted into the rupee, but if you convert the surplus account in a, uh, or surplus amount in the rupee, you will lose 30% of the money. So people would like extra saving will always remain in the form of the Bharat Vikas Nidhi. Hence our dependency on the rupee will be minimized. We can do detail briefing, detailing and discussion and if the few issues which are not really settled, we can come out for the deliberation and solution for that because it is our concept. If there are any problem which uh, come out, we will be in position to resolve it by having the suitable modification and amendments. Have I answered your question? Mr. Harish, have I answered your question? You are very slow in your response. Hello? Hello, sir. Uh, I'll uh, think about it and come back to you, sir. Okay, so what I will say, even this deliberation will be uploaded in Crime Free Bharat uh, by tomorrow. I will suggest that you can share it. Rather, you can share with your friends and ask their question IR also. If possible, I will appreciate if you are having some kind of the symposium uh, to deliberate on each of the aspects separately. And if it could be done live, nothing is better than that. In that case, I would be available to give the answer to the experts. And wherever we will be feeling that answer cannot be given, we, we will be rescheduling the session for giving the answer to them. So brief answer can be given. If they are even not convincing, then we can have the dedicated uh, uh, sessions to resolve those unanswered questions or partially answered questions. Mr. Hari, how do you react to inviting your uh, friends, sharing this discussion with them, asking them to frame the questions, and can we uh, have some kind of the work constructive workshop in which their suggestions can also be invited, so we will be benefited by their views also. Mr. Harish. Yeah, it's preferable to have a workshop with farmers, sir. No, let there be, say, basically the different dimensions. We can have n number of the work, workshop with the different, different interest, group, interest groups, with the different, different beneficiaries. And, uh, and that dialogue may not be one-time dialogue. That, that will be end-time dialogue. And uh, we, we can continue to uh, basically capture the frequently asked question. We can have even monologues, even uh, clarification on the all frequently asked question and it can be given as a tag if the question answer frequently asked question and answer and there could be video click attached to that answer also. So if somebody want to listen in my language, they would be in position to uh, hear that uh, answer and they can still ask the supplementary question as well. Because uh, this kind of the clarity would be uh, there 
when will we be having n number of the discussions so i agree with you we can have the discussion with the farmers we can have the discussion with the bankers we can have the discussion with the charter accountant we can have the discussion with the even politicians also we can have the discussion with the whosoever who is taking a claim as a beneficiary or as a partner in the larger ecosystem do you agree with me can you plan something especially in the southern zone through your jo hai friends can they be requested to organize the uh, this kind of the workshop the people those who are interacting with the farmers can we have the workshop with them even i will be very happy to have the interaction and workshop with the ngos as well and we would be benefited by their concern and it will help us out if any of the concern genuine concern if it is not reflected in our answers or if not reflected in our model we can modify the model and we can modify our answer suitably because ultimately the end result is important and let it be a participative end result let it be a participative end result for the country as a large do you agree with me